We are now joined by Eric Redgate, who is the district commander over District 4. Welcome, Eric. Thank you for having me, Laura. So let's begin by just getting acquainted with District 4. What area comprises District 4? Uh, District 4 is Jacksonville's west side, so with limited exception, everything south of Normandy Boulevard to the Clay County line and west of the river. We have some small carve-outs for Five Points and the little Brooklyn area that we uh, gave away in realignment to some other districts. Okay. And my understanding is you have some strong historical roots in District 4. I do. I, I grew up on Jacksonville's west side. The, uh, the west side is the best side, as we like to say. <laughs> uh, my childhood home is within walking distance of my, my current office, which I think is, is pretty neat. And I spent the first nine years of my career working in the same area where I grew up. That's super cool. So you've had a lot of time both personally and professionally in what is now District 4. Yes, ma'am. So you, although grew up here, went to school, or at least for college, out of state. Where did you go to college? Yes, ma'am. I went to Pennsylvania State University. Um, spent four years up there. Learned a lot. Really enjoyed the college experience. Uh, had a great time. And you have family roots up north as well? I do. I have a lot of family that lives out of state. We, we like the Northerners, you know, over here. Yeah, so. I think it's a great mix of uh, Northern education and Southern roots. And I did the opposite. I had the Northern education, now I have Southern roots. Um, did you always want to go into law enforcement? Um, no, not really. Uh, it was kind of a decision a couple years into college. I had to declare a major. Criminal justice had the least amount of math. I figured I would get the opportunity to help some folks and, and do something maybe exciting and fun. And uh, I'm happy to say that I was right. I needed a lot of those things. Other than getting on track into law enforcement, were there any other careers that you seriously considered? Uh, for a while, I thought I was going to be a chef. So I, I spent uh, all of my college time working nights and weekends in restaurants and kind of start at the bottom and, and work my way up into a sous chef role at a pretty fancy restaurant in a resort town. And uh, I really enjoyed that. And I gave that a lot of thought. I still enjoy cooking. It's a passion of mine. But uh, oh, really? I'm glad law enforcement won, won the day. So you... Uh, Save lives during the day and cook at night? I do, uh, nearly every night. Super cool. Um, over the course of your career, I know you've had a lot of different positions. Yes. What has been your favorite? Uh, it's, it's so hard to narrow it down, but I've been uh, really blessed with a lot of really cool and interesting jobs um, from the midnight shift on the west side to the time I spent in the Homeland Security Division um, at Narcotics at a couple different levels as a sergeant and then again as a, a unit commander. And uh, I got to lead the SWAT team for a year, but I think, I think Narcotics and uh, forming the Overdose Death Investigations Unit was, was a really neat experience and I think impactful for both the community and the agency. And then leading the SWAT team, there's a, a ton of great guys doing a lot of really good kind of unsung work that I was very impressed by. Well, thank you, Eric. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Lara. I'm looking forward to uh, when we can reverse these roles and get to know about you and what you do at our agency. <laughs>